Alright, today we're going to be learning method parameters. So methods can have parameters which they can use in their code. The parameters are defined in the parentheses and can be used like variables in the method. For example, let's add a name string parameter to our welcome function. So these basically act like variables. The method above takes a string called name as its parameter, uh, which is used in the method. Now, when calling the method, we need to pass it uh, a value for the name parameter inside the parentheses. So when you go to call the method, um, you have to specify a string in this case, uh, that's a name. This way we can call our method with different parameters and generate different results based on them. So fill in the blanks to define a method double num that takes an integer as a parameter and outputs its double. All right, so we will go ahead take some integer as the parameter and then this is the name this is the name of the okay the double num and I'll put its double so for outputting the double you want to um, what would we do okay so fill in the place to define a double uh, num that takes an integer as its parameter and outputs its double uh, let's go back Okay, you will, you have to multiply it. Okay, that makes sense. Double, no, it's and then you put double num here. So the instructions on this wasn't really clear, but that works. Methods can take multiple parameters. For that, we simply need to separate them using commas. For example, string name um, and then int age. So now our welcome method takes a string and an integer as its parameters. Now when calling the function, we need to provide all the parameters. So here you have string name int age, right? So you need to provide a string and also an int. So fill in the blanks to define a method that takes two integers and outputs their sum. Then call it and main for the arguments x and y. Okay, so I'll simply just do this. And then the name is going to be sum. That should work. Yep. Method parameters are really handy. They allow our method to work with different values and produce results. For example, we can create a method to calculate a given percentage of a number and output it. So let's see how this works. So you have the you have the result, which is the num. Uh, the double times the percentage uh, divided by 100 and you basically just return that so it returns I believe 23% of 5 530 so if we changed it to like 100 it will return uh, 23 yep 
So what is the result of demo 8.3? So both take an int. If x is less than y, which is not true, else system.app system dot out dot print line x modulus um, y so that would return two yep so the lesson takeaways for today are going to be you can define parameters in the parentheses multiple parameters need to be separated by commas the parameters are available in the method like variables of the given names. When calling a method, you need to provide its parameters in the same order as defined. You will learn how to return values in the next lesson. So let's try this feet to inches converter practice problem. So you need to make a method that uh, converts a foot value to inches. One foot has 12 inches, define a convert method that takes the foot value as its argument and outputs the inches value. The, the result must be double. The given code takes the foot value as input and passes it to the convert method. Define the convert method so that the given code works. Okay, so We have to do public static double convert and we have the let's see, we need a parameter which has to be an integer, right? Um, actually, no, it can be a double, right? It can be a double. Yeah, it takes the foot value as its argument and outputs the inches value. Okay, so you can do double, let's say foot, and we can do foot has 12 inches so we need to output the inches value okay so we can take the we can take let's take result double result equals foot times 12 you can just call it inches that's fine and then return inches let's see if this works I'm not sure if this will work no it won't work okay let's see return inches hmm. can we just return foot yeah Yeah, that should work. Huh. That's weird. Oh, let's think through this problem. Okay, so something we can do is definitely think through the problem uh, to see where we're wrong. So we need to make a method that converts of foot value to inches okay so so we can do we need to return a a double obviously but we also take a double that's the that's the issue Hmm. Yeah, that should work. Not sure why that's not working. 
Yeah. I mean, this was a double inches. This was inches. Foot times 12. That should work. So we're not outputting anything. That's weird. Uh, should return. Oh, do we just... Okay, so do we just do this? Do we just print it out? No way we just printed out, bro. <laughs> there is no way we just printed out. Then what's the point of it? <laughs> so there you have it. Um, and then we'll do... Okay, define a method to a public void. Public void static. Oh, oh no, that that's the name of the of the yeah area. Okay. Comma right here. Stem that out, and then you return the result. And boom. Oh, it's not public. It's static. Static. Static uh, area, comma, out, result. Try that. Boom. So there you guys have it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.